So something else is bad. <laughs> I hate when something else is bad because this is at the point where I start saying, okay, we'll go get another board. So I got this package in. It's from Michael. He's the same person who sent me the memory expansion for the item. And he's sending me, this is a, supposed to be the atom board from his atom that he's having issues with. So I'm going to figure out what's wrong with it for him. I started to open it and I said, you know what, I need to film this so I put the tape back on it. Because as I started to open it, I noticed something in the box. Popcorn. Popcorn. Skinny popcorn. Popcorn. How did he know that I would get diagnosed with diabetes and high cholesterol? That I should start eating popcorn? I haven't told anybody. Popcorn. Motherboard. Popcorn. 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 Well, thanks, Mike. I was going to have some popcorn. What we got? We got, like, we got five packs of the white cheddar and four packs of the regular. It's gluten-free. Duh. I don't think there's any gluten in corn. Non-GMO. So, non-genetically modified organisms in it. This kind of sucks, because I like my genetically modified organisms. How am I going to mutate without eating that? So, yeah. Let's hang on a second. Remember, I, I have to start watching everything now. Uh, carbohydrates. Right, it doesn't have any sugars in it, no, though it's corn, so we'll have some sugar from the corn. But no added ones, so that's a good thing. What's your cholesterol? Zero. Okay, cool. I can eat this stuff. Hopefully. Without dying. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Now let's go look at the thing that he actually sent me. I'm going to have to break out my knife, it looks like. Yeah. Well, it's El Knifey. No, it's with Let's live on the edge. Let's use a straight edge razor this time. Okay, so my battery decided to exhaust itself right then. So, here's the motherboard he sent me. He said it's having issues. And that when it's just not working, I guess. <laughs> i got to figure out what he, what's wrong with it. So we'll determine what's wrong with this board and maybe fix it for him. Interestingly, I don't see... I mean, it could just be missing it, but there's little resistor packs that go. Here, let me just get this, make sure it's going There's little resistor packs that go below these chips, and they're not there. Could it be something as simple as that? It's quite possible. I'll go get one, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so this one right here is one of my dead boards. See, dead, got some life. I mean, it responds. I don't know what's wrong with it. Someday I'll fix it. Maybe it'll just be a parts board. But if you look in the resistors, or in the resistors, in the ROMs, not that one. Which one had it? I just saw it a second ago. Did I not see it a second ago? This one? Yeah, this one. See, if I remove the ROM, see this little resistor package in here too. I don't know if that one has it. So we'll have to figure that out. Now, does he have the ROMs in the right order, too? So, this one right here should be 42269, it's not. This one, 4154D, that's correct. 415390, why is this one a different number? 42269, oh no, it is correct, it is correct, I read it wrong. Okay, so he's got the ROMs in the right order. 
So we'll figure out what he did here, see what's wrong. Could be anything on here, but we'll figure it out. And we'll see if it's this Ron's here too. So, Michael, thank you for the goodies. I appreciate it. I'm just going to do the quick the quick inspection here because these little tantalums, I believe they're called tantalums, they like to blow up. I don't see anything blown up. Nothing obvious, like boom. It done did die, Papa Smurf. It died already. I don't see anything. All right. You guys, I'll figure this one out. But again, thanks for the popcorn. I'm going to have me a snack. Alright, so I got her in my test rig here. Basically, I got a known good game board, keyboard, plugged into my power supply, hooked up to the television over here on the side. And I'm going to turn it on and see what we get out of it. Now that's fascinating. Alright, so as I said, that was fascinating. I just took a moment here to hook up the other camera so that you could actually see what happens when I put power to the system. It goes up to atom mode. It's trying. It's trying. This time it didn't get there. The last time it tried, it failed and jumped straight to ColecoVision mode. Let's try to do a reset. Didn't get there. Let's try it again. It's just not getting there. But what, what is it doing in ColecoVision mode? Let's just see. I'm going to get a cartridge in here. I don't want to see if it's running in ColecoVision mode, which it should be, because this has nothing to do with it other than it's using the RAM down there. All right, so I got Donkey Kong right here. Let's shut the power off to it. Slide this in the cartridge. Turn her back on. See that? See that movement right there? That's the atom that's freaking out. I'm going to unhook the keyboard and see if it's the keyboard doing it. Okay, there's an issue on the atom net. The atom net is killing it. Which would probably, it could either be the 6801 here that runs the DDPs or this master 6801. I can swap both out. But I just want to see, not plugged in. See, it's still acting as if a key is getting pressed. Even though the keyboard's not plugged in, which means Adam is having major issues with something. So, I want to test. I right, went off screen for a second. See, it got up there. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing has a problem with the atom net. And plug the controller in, because I want to test the ColecoVision and the RAM. As I said, the CB board on top is fine. I know that's fine, that's one of mine. But it uses the RAM on the atom board. So we're gonna find out if the RAM on the atom board is good, at least a piece of it's good, by playing the game. So yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. is working fine, okay. But if I come back in here, the atom is bad. All right, so we're gonna start doing some swappings. I think the first thing I'm going to swap is, I'm gonna swap the main, the main DDP, or the main atom net controller here. So we're gonna try that first. Alright, so this is a known good board. This is my one that I put the memory expansion in. It just seems like the memory. Oh no, okay. Yeah, the one I put the memory expansion in. I know it's good. This is my basically my test board. So I'm going to pop these out. I'm going to do one at a time. This is the main 6801. This one handles all the talking on the internet. So this one probably should be the issue if there is an issue. This one right here handles the talking to the data drives. And that shouldn't be an issue. That should not be causing, though it can, that should not be causing issues. So I'm going to pull that one first. 
I don't want to do them both at the same time because they are different. Even though they're both 6801 processors, they have different ROMs on them. So, let's pop this out and see what we got here. Alright, so that's his bad one. I'm going to set it over here out of the way so it doesn't get confusing. Now where's my cut? My cut's there, actually right there. Make sure none of my pins get bent putting it in. Okay, so that's seated in there. Let's see what we get now. And let's plug the keyboard back in. And power it up, see what we get. Same issue. Alright, so we know that that wasn't bad and I do know this is a good keyboard this is my as I said it's my spare keyboard yeah the atom net is causing major issues here look at that now it could possibly be something that's out completely outside of the control it's just wiring so this if you're wondering what I'm doing this is the atom net over here too I'm just gonna plug in on this side see if there's a difference <laughs> no difference, okay. Alright, so let's power it off. And I'm going to put this one back out. And I'm going to go for the one that runs the DDP. I believe, or no, that was the other person. I was going to say, I believe he had, an, he's the one that had it, that used the external DDP drive. But let's just see. I like the external, the SD DDP drive, the one that replaces the DDP with an SD drive. But let's just see Let's put that over here to the side. Let's put his original back in, make sure I find the chip right there, or the, the cut, make sure it goes the right way. Plug this back in where it was. I want to always be able to reproduce the same issues multiple times. I don't want a new issue to creep up on me. So that's in. No pins are bent. Turn it back on. Same problem. Okay. Now I'm going to pull out, and it's nice that his has them socketed, because I've got a couple that they're not socketed on, and they, they're my parts ones, one of them was the one I had earlier here. So that's his one that runs the data drives. I'm going to power it up without that one. I don't know how, I don't recall if this thing will boot up without it in there if the atom net will have an issue. That's not good. It's still giving me garbage. All right. It's possible maybe our issue is not something as simple as just chips. Our issue may be something else entirely. I'm pulling off the 6801 off my other board now. It runs the data drives. That one in. If I did this enough, I'd invest in a chip puller. Since I don't, I just bent a screwdriver. Most cheap little screwdrivers. I bent it to make it fit. Under. It works. It does the job. Okay, so here we go now. Chip that way. Everything's uh, cuts that way. Everything's good here. Line everything up so that we don't get no bent pins. Excuse my head while I'm looking. All right, now let's see what we got now. Any difference? No difference. So we do know that there's something definitely more wrong with this board than just the those two chips. So let's put his back in here. Now he said he also removed ROM chips and stuff, so I'm going to try those next. 
let's move this keyboard out of my way. I'm going to pop some of these ROM chips out and see if they have it seated. You know, I'm going to pop all these ROM chips out and I'm going to take the ROM chips out of my other board, which again, I know they're good. And we're just going to see if it's a ROM problem. Could be a ROM issue. I doubt it. It's not acting like it's wrong. It's acting like there's something floating around on the bus. Something is wrong. But we're going to test it anyways. Pop my ROM chips out of here. This one right here had a little resistor pack. See that? That goes underneath the drum. And he doesn't have that on his, so. Could that be initial? That's a possibility. That's one. Let's see. The little resistor pack's getting stuck in the hole there, going in sideways. All right, let's see that one bent on me. Straighten out. <laughs> All right, that's straightened out. Right in the hole, nice and easily. Thank you. And now I put this one in. This goes on top. I'm not sure exactly what those resistors do. I mean, obviously the resistors. Maybe they're cleaning the signal up. I don't know which one they're doing. But they do something. And not every board has them. This one has them on two of them. You see, here's another one. Let's get you out of my way. This one makes a big difference is if you have another known working board that you can swap pieces out until you find out what's wrong with the one you have. If you don't have a known working board, then you're kind of screwed. It's normally not this hard to put these in. Things usually go really easy, but the issue I'm having is the cameras. I'm trying my best not to get in front of them. So I'm working at arm's length instead of with my face weighed up in the middle of it looking at it. Well, here we go. All right, that one's in. Make sure I got the cut going the right direction. Alright, so those are in now. Now let's see what we got. Let's see if it was a ROM issue. Nope, still same issue. So we have something much more besides just simple chips. But it's not memory. As far as I can tell, it's not a memory issue. So something else is bad. <laughs> I hate when something else is bad because this is at the point where I start saying, okay, we'll go we'll get another board. That's why I got so many boards to play with. We'll figure it out, but that's a good start. Hi everyone. While I'm sitting here editing the video, I realized that I didn't do a final what am I going to do with this board. Because after I went through that whole process, I contacted Mike and he said he ordered another Adam. So go ahead and just send it back to him and... He'll start plugging away at it, replacing things. So I didn't go any deeper into it. And I sent it back to him. And 
I'm enjoying my popcorn now. So that was a simple mail call. Have a good one.